Hey guys, I'm Papa Pete and welcome to today's big unboxing video. A uh, video uh, where I have a great package from Intellivision Collector right here. No secrets there, right? And we're going to open this one up and I've got a very special announcement for you as we go through it. Uh, we'll get into it a little bit more. I'm going to show you some games that I got today and I'm going to go right in and open each and every one of them to show you what we got. So right on, let's do it right now. So right on, get the knife out. You would think I would have the knife out when I started, right? But I didn't, so that's okay. So let's pop it open and take a look. All right. There we go. Very carefully open these up. Oh, so careful. Turn around, get this side. You gotta love Amazon. They give you lots of boxes to ship things in. Ooh, glad I didn't go too deep in this one. Oh, what do I see right on top here? Oh, this is pretty special, so I'm going to take a look at these real quick, rearrange them, and we'll haul them out one at a time and show you. All right, so here we go. This is awesome. First up, we have, look at that right there, Fox's Quest. Fox's Quest, isn't that beautiful? Gotta love it, right, Coco? Yeah, Coco's really in, uh, really worked up over it, I can tell. And uh, yeah, of course, we've seen this game before. It is a Sokoban-style game. Uh, box pusher basically so that is pretty cool we'll open it up in a second take a look aside let's take a look at the next one first and here it is parsec right on that is beautiful parsec another game from the original blah blah woof woof which is now owned and operated by intellivision collector take a good look at that one right there that's beautiful all right we're gonna open that one too we're gonna open all these and next up what do we have we have Load Runner, which is a game that I'd heard so much about but had never played. Really, not very much at all since I think I might have tried it back on the C64 back in the 80s, but I barely even remember. I played a lot here on the Intellivision. A few videos on the channel, check them out. So happy to have the physical copy right there. Man, these are beautiful. These are flipping beautiful. Ah, but now we have one of the special ones. And what we have for the very first time, we have a copy of Space Bandits right there there we go the very first copy of space bandits and uh so i guess guess you probably know what's coming next right and that is if i can get it out here yes sir there it is right there buck rogers planet of zoom right there buck rogers planet of zoom and the big news is guys right now you can now order your copies and i mean now so it's available. It's going to be up for sale, effective immediately. Uh, you sh should be able to go there probably within the next couple of minutes and you'll be able to buy these games yourself, uh, your own physical copies, uh, and also the digital copies will be available at the same time. So absolutely wonderful. So let's take a look inside these games and uh, see what comes with them, okay? We'll get rid of the box, first of all. Nice packaging. Luke always has fantastic packaging. Here, this came the whole way across the country, 3,000 miles, and these games are all pristine, right? Absolutely beautiful. So let's get them open and take a look. And yes, we will open Space Bandits and Buck Rogers, but we're going to open Fox's Quest and Parasec first because I think there's a little bit of a surprise which hadn't been announced as of yet. So we'll just take a very quick little bump my microphone here. Hopefully, it's not making too much noise. Um, very carefully, I'll pop open the shrink wrap. Mmm, that's well tightly shrink wrapped, I'll tell you that. So we'll just go this way. A lot of people like to keep their game shrink wrapped because you can buy the digital copies as well. But if I want to show you what comes with these ones. Uh, I have a lot of the games still shrink wrapped, don't get me wrong, but I really am not a big person for keeping the shrink wrap on games. I do like to put them in plastic cases when I'm done. I need to get some more of those. I get a lot of those. I get them from uh, Respawn and Replay. Fantastic deals. Uh, Sebastian out of Montreal. And he, uh, $75 for a hundred. He ships to the States, to Canada, and that's $75 Canadian. So it is a significant savings. All right, let's take a look here. Slide that up and open. There is the cartridge right there. Fox's Quest cartridge. That's beautiful. And let's take a look inside what comes with it. There's one overlay. There's the other overlay. There is playing instructions update. So that there's an addendum. Use five on your controller rather than three. And there's 
something else in there too. Uh, there it is. There's the manual. Two page manual for these ones. Right there. That's beautiful. And is that it? That's it. So right on. That is wonderful. I've never seen the addendum before. I didn't know that came with it. That's pretty cool. And you got your two cards. So there's Fox's Quest. I'm going to leave those right out for now. I'm not going to put them right away. I'll slide them right over here. I'll put them back together later. Take some pictures to put in here as well. Let's take a look at Parsec. Okay. Here we go. Let's slid open a little easier. I had a better plan of attack for this one. All right. Here it is. Right on. We'll get rid of that shrink wrap down here and I'll get the knife out to open the box. I always like to use the dull side of the knife up against the flap and just to push it out and pull it past that tab just to keep the top of the box from oh uh, there we go bad didn't go very well A little ding there just step over that means I need a little bit longer blade in my knife is what it means. So let's take a look at this one now. Look at this. This one's right in plastic, these ones. There's the cart. Parsec. Is that it? That's it. Your manual and your uh, overlays right in the box. Oh, look at this as well. Little special thing with this. How do I get into this? It's got to be a seal that I open. There it is. This also includes something that came with the very original sales of these games uh, when they were sold at prge way back in uh, when this one was sold at prge back in 2022 by blah blah woof woof it came with a little i'm trying to get it out of here smoothly a tattoo so this also comes with a temporary tattoo of blah blah woof woof logo so that's awesome Gonna slide this out. There's your there's your two-page manual. And let's see what how these these are in I believe in plastic as well. There's a little sleeve for those, like a, almost like a baseball card sleeve, right? And there's your overlays. So that is awesome. And another little bonus to sort of make it so there is absolutely no difference between the ones that you get from Intellivision Collector and the ones that you got from Intelli uh, blah blah woof woof back at PRGE uh, 20, uh, 2022. So I'm going to put that right back. I'm not going to put it back in there, but I am going to put it back in there when I put them away. So let's slide these over. There's my Parsec box. That's beautiful. And the cartridge. I'll put the cartridge right over here. Next up, let's take a look at Load Runner right there. Huh? Load Runner is beautiful. Um, a little strip. I prob probably get that shrink wrap right off. No, no damage to the box, though. It's just the shrink wrap's broken just a little bit right here. So we'll just rip that off as opposed to trying to do it with the knife. All right, here we go. Trying hard here not to do much damage. We'll just go like this. There. It's a nice break in it. There we go. that shrink wrap down there so that is beautiful brand spanking new beautiful copyright 2022 on this one although this is actually the very first game that was released by uh our homebrew release uh released by blah blah wolf wolf not before they were a television collector in 2024 all right got that one up there i find it just the right hand and left hand it makes it so much easier right here we go Come on. Doesn't want to go by that one. There we go. We got it. Little thing. I'm not a perfectionist. I'm ha I'm fine with that. That's not a real big deal to me. And here we go. Oh, look at this one. Look at the size of this one, huh? That's a pretty cool manual. Oh, and this one's in a cart. It's it's a LTO style cartridge with a really nice label on it. That's beautiful. Just double checking inside the box. That's it. It's all beautiful. We'll pop open. We're going to pop that open. Let's take a look, see what's in here, too. I find that where it opens. It opens down here. Mm 
We'll take that out. Those are in a little plastic sleeve as well. And look at the manual for this one. Okay, of course, this is a bit more complicated because, oh, look at the beautiful picture in the middle. Uh, scroll up through. A little bit more complicated because it has the level builder uh, in this. And of course, that level builder, uh, you can save it. It's a, it's a JLP. So there you go. Create your own levels and they will save uh, with the JLP board, right? So that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Nice. All right. So let's set those ones off to the side. And now we'll get to the two brand new ones. Save that bag. And the load runner box will go right over here. First, let's start with Space Bandits right here. Huh? Look at that beautiful blue box. That is a nicely colored box. Uh, I really like the artwork on this one. The logos and such. Again, copyright 2022, but I think that has to do with when they started these games as opposed to when they actually released them. Um, let's see if we can get in and get a nice cut in the shrink wrap. There we go. Now, if you want to keep your game shrimp, shrink wrapped, done like me, who doesn't mind opening them, right? Uh, you could do so, and then you can also buy the digital version to play on your LTO Flash, your Ultimate Flashback on the uh, JZIN TV emulator, however you would like to do so. There's various ways you could play it. I guess uh, Backbit, is that what it's called? Some people use those. So, all right. First look of any Space Bandits, uh, the very first physical release. Let's take a look. You're excited, aren't you, Coco? I, I can tell. Purring up a storm over there. I don't know if you can hear her or not, but she is certainly purring. Hmm. There's one side. Let's get this one out. And that one, I got some left-handed, right-handed difference right there. I need to get a little longer blade, like I said. Letter opener probably better, but I always just use my knife and that's okay. There are ways that you could be a little bit more careful, but uh, but we're good. Uh, out first and foremost, there are the overlays right there. Set those down. Keep going. That is it in the box. Oh man, that's a beautiful box. There is the Space Bandits cart right there. And of course, the Space Bandits manual. <laughs> beautiful color manual. Gotta love it. That's something else. Really, really nice. All right. Okay, let's we'll set that off to the side here. We'll put that stuff all together. And I'll put the box over in the pile. And last but not least, we have Buck Rogers, Planet of the Zoom, right there. So this game is a game that, of course, I'd seen around a long time. I think I just got it at PRGE last year for the Atari 2600. Or was it the ColecoVision? I don't know, but it's been around in other systems, but never the Intellivision. Well, now finally it is. So this is something else. And of course, you've seen the gameplay videos and you've seen uh, old guys and old games where I first introduced it and played it. That is uh, a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed this game. Played it the stream the other night too. Uh, and really enjoyed it. Had the best game I think I'd ever had in it actually. So, all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get that shrink wrap off. Well, there it is. Shrink wrap gone. I have a lot of things that I don't open, but I open a lot of things too. And I really wanted to open these games, I'll tell you that. So that's cool. Um, right on. Let's get this open carefully, carefully. Let's see. Get that slit in there. One. Two. Perfect. We'll put that knife right away. Now I don't need that anymore today, I don't think. Close it up. Let's take a look. There is the cartridge, first and foremost. I love that label too, right? That's a beautiful label. The old style in television. Original in television uh, case. And there is the manual. Double check in here. Oh, no. The overlays are still in there. There are the two overlays right there. Nice. 
And of course the manual. Let's go through the manual a little bit. Well, the zoom four, five, six page manual. It's great. BBWW 003 for Buck Rogers because they plan these games all around, right? So anyway, wow. I am so happy to have these games. I'll set that off to the side. Bring the boxes back in. There they are. Buck Rogers, Space Bandits, Load Runner, Parsec, Fox's Quest, the entire uh, BBWW library right there. That's available right now. Yes, Piggy Bank's out there as well. Maybe someday we'll see that one, but maybe not. And in the meantime, we have these wonderful games. So these two, for the very first time, are available physical, uh, physically and digitally. So man, go get them right now. They're available for purchase as of the start of this video. So that is absolutely awesome. www.intellivisioncollector.com. Did I even say that earlier? I'll put, I put it up on the screen, I'm sure. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks a lot for spending a little bit of time with Coco and I here today. She's about to take a nap. I think she's barely hanging on here. And uh, I'm going to play some more of these games. I'm going to put these back together, take some pictures, which I've sort of incorporated into the video as, we, uh, as I went through when I go and edit the video. Um, I'm really, really excited to have these in my collection and i'm also really really excited to have uh the blah blah woof woof name uh with the quality games and the good games that they have go over to the television collector who in my mind is probably uh pro one of the absolute top publishers in the intellivision homebrew world out there uh very proud and, and happy to have him as a significant part of my channel um yeah, Luke, thank you so much for everything. And uh, wow, you know, it's like there's more and more great things to come from the Intellivision Collector for those of us who love the Intellivision. But anyway, guys, one more time. Uh, thanks for a little bit of time with Coco and I here today. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. Hi, I'm Luke from Intellivision Collector. And you're watching Papa Beat. The old guy gamer. What the hell?